Hello, everybody. Hello, my grand and noble audience. Here we go. We're going to start the timer and we're going to get right, right stuck into it. We're going to get right chewed. Here we go. 20 minutes. That's all we're doing today. We are streamlining drawing. It's going to be a swift one um, because I am truly a merciful God. So, hello everyone. Welcome to my live drawing session. I am the Scribbling Chimp. It is the 5th of July 2020 and I hope everyone is good. I'm going to teach you how to draw um, and I'm going to do it in that amount of time there. Now, listen to me. Um, it's it, It's been a really stressful one, actually. It's been incredibly stressful um, because I struggled terribly to think of some subjects. I struggled terribly to think of some ideas to show you guys to help you on your quest to become a good drawer like me. Um, I usually have a little resource of places I go to where I stockpile emergency ideas um, when I don't normally have anything else to, you know, suggest to you guys. Um, and I did that this time around and again, completely failed me. This is my Google Docs app. Okay, this is where I normally go um, for ideas. Okay, um, so first thing on my list was Game of Thrones Part 2, which, which nobody, like literally nobody, nobody wants that nobody at all and underneath that i've got 21 bridges uh which is that film of chadwick bosman uh, that you can see on amazon and in brackets next to it i've put 21 jeff bridges ha 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 uh, i i don't even i don't even know what that means i don't know why i wrote that um so that's no good to me um so i did another fail safe i did another fallback um, something I, um, another thing I do, obviously I've told you about the boxes, um, uh, while my wife, um, ice skates, um, uphill normally under futile circumstances, circumstances to try and, um, maintain some kind of semblance of family life and, um, defend the family honor. I'm doing drawings. Um, so one of my emergency boxes, uh, is this one here, God. That one's there. Uh, emergency ideas for drawings because you crap. All right, let's have a look inside. Um, so this is, I found this earlier when I dug this out. Thought this could save me again. Completely, completely useless. I mean, I've used this a lot. I've used this a bunch of times for different things. Um, the only drawing in here, Steven Seagal's chin. And that's the only thing I've got going on in this box. Just a drawing of Steven Seagal's chin, which is useless. I can't apply that to anything. Okay, I can't even apply that to a drawing of Steven Seagal, so I can't make any use of that at all. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna throw that away. Just like Steven Seagal's chin it just means doesn't doesn't mean anything. Um, luckily, I had these two little notes, and fortunately, these notes completely turned it around. They basically saved my ass. Okay, um, because one of them said, "Old woman." And the other one said, Space Anarchist. Boom. Straight away, fireworks in my head. I knew exactly what to do. And so the session was saved. Old woman, Space Anarchist. That's right, you've got it. It's... It's Khan from Star Trek II. The Wrath of Khan. Played by the mighty um, Ricardo Montalban. I resetted my clock. Another week where this continues to be a useless prop. All I did was lift the board up slightly. And now it's resetted. So that's all the excitement and all the drama gone, vaporized. Just like that. But I'm going to teach you how to draw, okay? All right, it's going to be a good session. I'm going to put this stupid piece of, piece of yeah, put that over there. Um, get rid of these menus. Okay, um, so we're all about atmosphere on the Scribbling Chimp, okay? Um, but normally at this point, I'd do a little piece of music to kind of sing you guys in to get in the mood to create some kind of ambience to relax the atmosphere so we can uh, draw together in a safe working environment. Um, but 
uh, the thing about Star Trek tunes, they're quite complicated, lots of guitar parts and just keyboards and all the rest and everything. Um, so I did a little sound bite instead. Okay, now you need to just prepare yourself for this because this is going to come on straight away, right? This is a sound bite that I've done to, um, it's just called Khan, you see. Uh, something I recorded, which will hopefully get you guys in the mood. Okay, I'm just going to click on that. It's going to come up. Khan! And there you go. And that's it. Okay, do you want to hear it again? Come there you go. Now, what I was going to do was I was going to intersplice that with some more electronic stuff, maybe some drum beats, um, you know, some keyboards, I don't know, just, just some kind of stuff. But it all went wrong. The files got deleted, so it's just that sample. Um, see, there you go. There it is again. And that's just going to be popping up, you know, infrequently while we do this. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be pretty frustrating. But let's um, uh, let's try not to let it get to us. And go on. Um, here we go. So um, uh, there he is. There he is, Khan, the legend. And I'm going to draw him legit. Okay, it's going to be a legit drawing of Khan. No half measures. Um, when I started to worry about time and how long this would take. I um, I momentarily thought about doing a shortcut. I thought, what if I just got this picture of Keith Richards I drew a long time ago, and um, this unused behind the scenes. You've never, you, you guys have never seen this before. This is a behind the scenes drawing of Daenerys Targaryen that I drew. And look, she's got her game face on there. That's that's season eight Daenerys Targaryen. That's her heel turn. Uh, that's when she goes bad in the bells with the dragon. Um, Everyone's favourite Game of Thrones series. Like, well, we covered that, okay? I'm not getting into that shtick again. Um, but I figured, what if I just pulled her hair off? Yeah, like that. Um, and just put it put it on Keith Richards. Would that make a serviceable Khan? Well, yes, it does make a serviceable Khan. But it's pretty cheap, and it's not teaching you guys to draw. So we're going we're gonna to do away with that. We're going to do this properly, and I've got... We'll call it from the call it from the start again. Okay, so here we go. Right, um, just gonna just gonna do one. one um, yeah. Okay. Khan. Dispensable Khan. What a what a swine. What a, what an anarchist. You know. Um, Ricardo Montalban. What a good actor. You're thinking to yourselves, Asha, is, is there going to be any drawing in this at all? You know, um, or are you just put a bit of yeah, a bit of spotlight? Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> wow, look at my hand. Um, so here we go. Khan. Everyone's favourite elderly space anarchist. And um, look at the 80s. Weren't the 80s great? I mean... Khan! Yeah, that's, sorry about that. Um, look, I mean, that's kind of that's just the light from my camera. I mean, that that can be, um, you know, that that could be SETI Alpha Five, if you want, because he says that um, in the film. So that's what that could be. But I mean, that's just like you know, if that's what space anarchy looks like, then quite frankly, um, I'm all for it, and we need to hurry up and get more people out there. Okay. Um, so serious drawing today, nothing, nothing stupid, no jokes. Okay, just me, just me doing a drawing. Um, just that, that mullet. Indispensable. Star Trek Two. Do you remember when you put a worm in that guy's ear? And Chekhov's ear. Chekhov's mate, who um, got the worm in his ear as well, the Starfleet mate. Um, he ends up blasting himself with a. Uh, with his um, with his star, <laughs> with a Star Trek gun, vaporizes himself. Very cool actor that guy. He's also the same um, actor who plays a policeman in the Terminator, in the original Terminator. And um, he's basically, I think, his job description was to play characters who made very bad decisions whilst in an important profession. Obviously, in Starfleet, all that happens, he gets one worm. Shoved one space worm shoved in his ear, and um, 
he um, vaporizes himself. You know, who who can forget what he does in the Terminator when um, you know that thing when you're 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 a defenseless human and there's a killer cyborg from the future. I'm just doing the necklace there. Kill a cyborg from the future out to destroy you. Impervious to bullets. Very tough to kill. Very strong. And you're in police custody. And um, your advice from the policeman is to have a lie down. Yep, same guy. Google him. Come on! Destroying these balls. He's just got, you know. I mean, normally I'd say, just turn the, oops, just turn the, uh, the flash up. Normally I say don't worry about getting the numbers right, but I think it's kind of important. You don't go off, go off piste here. Um, so yeah, how is everyone? Obviously I told everyone last week a tree fell on my house and we had to make a big commute. My wife had to do all the um, the insurance, all the tax. Um, most of the builders couldn't come out, actually, so she had to do a lot of the building work herself. Anyway, we decided that it would be best to go up to my parents who live in Wales, um, which my wife did a very good job of organising. But obviously that requires a big itinerary of stuff, food, clothes, stuff for the kids. Um, so she went up to me and came up with this big list, said, is there anything else you think we need, Ash? And I said, yep, some crisps and a biro. And uh, do you know what she said to me? She said, this stopped being funny about three weeks ago. Okay, now I need to map the pecs um, perfectly here because you can't do half measure on um, on a sweaty eighties torso. It's just not very, it's just not very authentic, you know. So, I mean, it's kind of strategically positioned so just one of his one of his nipples pokes out there, which I've got a great deal of respect for. Now, what you do in drawing is you concentrate on one bit and then the rest you kind of just wing. And uh, normally that happens because you suddenly realize you're running out of time. Okay, which is fine in drawing, okay? One of the rules of drawing, if you if you kind of um kind of struggling a bit then just flip and get on with it. Come on! Come on! Uh, oh, two of them there. And uh, he's got a chain. You're not a villain in the 80s if you don't have a chain sort of dangling from some part of your body. The part of the body depends entirely on the brand of 80s movie. But don't, don't, when you're drawing stuff, don't worry, don't worry too much about chains, you know, just do some, do some circles and same of knots and all the rest. Um, okay, I think, I think I've made my point. All right. Um, I mean, the rest is kind of like a sort of black mass, you know. Um, but what a great performance! Like, really, what, what the the hell was going on with him and those people on that ship? You know. Um, so, like, all they had was some Mad Max cassettes, I guess. Right, the face. Arguably the most important part of a person that you're drawing is the face. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wing that bad boy. <laughs> okay, so he's got some lines there, as you can see. And he's got some lines there. Yeah. And he's got a and he's got a nose. There we go. Right? And then everything else just kind of falls into place, you know? Um, so you do one eye there, um, and then do the little sort of eyelash. Um, oh, I'm really glad that stupid can sample is finished. 
I'm pretty sure that's the last one. I don't think there was um, anything else I put on the um, on that. It's just that on its own. Um, so there you go. Two turnips um, and a rice cake. And, oh, at the blueberries, marshmallows. Sorry about this. Sorry. Mix until nice and creamy. Just trying to, just trying to just get rid of this. Then the and some it's flipping glitched. I can't stop. How do I? St really sorry about that. That was. It was for another. It was for another project. I didn't use it. It's, it's really embarrassing. Didn't didn't want anyone to hear that. I'm sorry. Um, okay, and the mouth. Where would a good portrait be without a person's mouth? Nowhere, that's where. And, uh, Khan was obviously famously a member of the Avengers. Yeah, one of the first ones. Do an origin story. Um, one of the first eat your heart out Captain Marvel okay um, yeah just uh, there you go oh the eyebrows no drawing of Khan would be complete <laughs> without some eyebrows how is everyone alright you all having a good time? Thanks for tuning in. Pleasure as always. Got a bit of an announcement to make in a second. Eyebrows are important. Never forget that. If there's one thing you take away from this sesh. Eyebrows are important. Dude, he's got a really lumpy neck. Just going to add some lumps there. Do a big bulge in Adam's apple. <laughs> and a bit more on top of the mullet. Um, obviously, you don't want to don't want to overkill it. Khan from Star Trek Two. And who can say fairer than that? Well, I think I got my point across. And I've got about six minutes to spare. We'll forget that was ever on 20, shall we? It's all kind of tied up nicely. Um, Khan was a very bad man. A very, very bad man. One of the most dangerous and um, um, non-justifiable foes in Star Trek mythology. I mean, he really was a mean old twit. Um, which is... Um, Put my uh, let's put my box there. It really was a really was a bad man. So I think I need to do some representative punishment for him here uh, because blowing up in a spaceship, which you've destroyed yourself, is not justifiable way to go, is it, ladies and gentlemen? So, I've got one of my boxes, emergency boxes. Well, it's not an emergency, okay? This is my punishment box, okay? I just I did a bit of a spelling mistake. Um, punishment, okay, so you've got your little skull at the bottom there. Um, and that just, you know what, something's just occurred to me. Did you guys think that this entire time I was just using the same box over and over and changing the label? How dare you? Very, very cross, very cross right now. So Khan, I'm going to fold him up, yeah. At some point I am going to have to relinquish control of this tripod to um, do this. Um which I'm holding, by the way, because it's broke. We went through this last week. Okay, right, and I'm going to put him in the punishment box. It's going to be a very, very um, deserving 
punishment. Okay. Very deserving punishment. Just gonna put it like oh yeah. Sorry, I've got I got someone to keep you company, Khan. Alright? Because you're such a malicious little swine. Someone to keep you company. I'll unfold you for this so you can see who it is. You you mischievous little devil. This is on you guys, okay? I'm 38. Talking to my drawings. Um, so this is um that's Benedict Cumberbatch's interpretation of the character Khan um, in Star Trek um, Into Darkness. There you go. In terms of attire, I don't know, there's pros and cons to both, but there he is. So he was just as bad, you know, a um, bit more smarmy, had a bit more of a sort of... Um, I'm Benedict Cumberbatchy about him. So both of these are going in the punishment box. And I've got a very special punishment reserved for these two. Very, very special. Very deserving. Okay. So I'm going to put these put these in here. Just tuck them in. Tuck them into the top. Okay. Now, right. This is the dangerous part. Okay. This is the really, really dangerous part, and I'm doing a big risk here in doing this because I need to handle an extremely hazardous substance, right? Now, do not, and I repeat, do not do this at home, okay? I did this, my own peril, a few weeks ago. Oops, a few weeks ago. Um, I'm going to handle it with some gloves. Protective gloves. It's one one glove there. Hopefully, I got a, another one in this box. One uh, one glove there. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put this down when I put the gloves on. Yeah, nice little um, nice little image for you there. So if you're watching this from 2019 and you're wondering why necessary to keep protective gloves in your house well yeah don't know what to tell you okay so I got my gloves on got my gloves on I'm gonna reach for this hazardous and I'm gonna get my drawing of Chuck Norris I did a few weeks ago um, Go back to one of my pages, whether it's Facebook or Insta, and look at this drawing, and you will see that it's actually kind of done a bit more of itself in its absence. Okay, this thing worries me, um, but every time I try and rip it up or put it in the bin, it just turns up again the next morning. So I'm going to fold him up. Okay, I'm going to fold this guy up. Sorry, Chuck. It's like normally my fingers will be burning now. I'm going to put them in the box. I'm going to seal the box up. Okay, there you go. I'm just going to leave it a second. Right, well, thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. Okay, um, I have been thinking about how to take my scribbling chimp project forward. Um, and you might be pleased or extremely disappointed to know that I will be reducing the amount of drawings I put on Facebook and Instagram in the week. But I will be increasing... Yeah, sure. Be in increasing my YouTube output. So... If you liked the drawings, but you can't stand these videos, I'm really, really sorry. Um, or vice versa, I'm very happy for you. Um, but that's the way I'm going forward. The summer of Scribble will continue, albeit in a new direction. So, I hope you like that. And thank you for all your encouragement. It's been very nice. Okay, well I think Khan and Khan... Spent long enough with Chuck Norris in this box. So they got on. Okay, there's Chuck Norris in the top. And, uh, yes. Looks like they've been ground 
into a fine powder. <sighs> Don't know what to do with this now. I might um might seal this box, take it to the sorted center, see if that works, because this is just, I don't know, putting everyone in danger. It's going to close that up. Well, I'll say it one more time, guys. Thank you very much. Um, you've been a great audience. I've been a 38-year-old man playing with some drawings, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and your week, and I will see you soon with some new content and some fun, and I hope you're all safe. Cheerio. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.